Hello everyone, today I will make a hopper of a screw conveyor. Basically there is a two types for making, so I am making only one type. So let's start. Open a part. Hmm. Okay, then after select a plane, front plane I am choosing. Make a sketch. Select a line. Make one line, apply one relation, meet relation. After that, give the dimension of this. Then I make a whole shape. After making, I need to apply a height. After applying height, need to make sure the top distance, top dimension. Okay, now I make a one reference line. This line, make a construction line, and one relation, vertical relation. Okay, now it's fully constrained. Now apply sheet metal. Thickness is two mm only. Now apply uh, appearance material also. Okay, that's it. Now save it. Name is hopper sheet zero one. Zero one because of um, we need to make a uh, two more sheets over there. So that's why. Make a part. Same process again. Plane select a plane. Make a sketch. Same process as it is, but the length and dimension is different. Okay. After giving the dimension, need to make one sure. Make sure. Okay. Make one construction line. Put a relation vertical. Now it's fully defined. Save it again. Hopper sheet zero two. After that, I shave and um, we apply sheet metal to one thickness. Appearance also, material also apply. After that, we'll make uh, one more sheet. Same process as it is, but dimension is different only. Uh, we have uh, two uh, types for making uh, this hopper. One is fully made by uh, sheet metal by using loft command, loft command, and second one is uh, making separate separate parts in sheet and assemble together. Basically, I made uh, this part because of uh, this. After making this part, uh, uh, welding is very easily done by welding and. Uh, uh, the bending process when we are making the whole part in sheet metal the bending process is uh, some type of critical so that's why I make uh, separate separate pieces so this is also completed we completed three sheets over there now we will make a um, connecting strips over there okay that's it save it now make a, another part connecting strip Select a plane, make a one rectangle, give the dimension from every side, 25mm width and 5mm thickness, 200mm length. Need to apply material, plane carbon I use is um, rarely. Basically, uh, connecting strip. We already make two connecting strip before we when we are making a, a, a screw conveyor body. So that's why we uh, don't need to make again it. We only insert when we are assembling. So this is a, a one more uh, 
connecting strip is needed so that's why I'm making this connecting strip now give the dimension from everywhere make sure it's fully defined always showing fully defined after that cut apply it now I need to make a connecting strip again it's after saving you need to make a flats support flats then start support flat basically I use a, I may, after making one a support flat I use save as because every dimension and everything is uh, like same except length only it's 25 by 600 and okay done now after applying the material I'll save and after the saving we need to make sure that once again we save the same part support flat, flat 0 1 now put one small save as support flat 0 2 only length is changed so that's why I use save as save as flat 0 3 in this uh, flat uh, we have uh, one curve over there curve cut so that's why we save as a now make a curve and give the dimension everything everywhere give the dimension after it, uh, it's fully defined we select a extrude curve ok done leaders go Minim, like minimum dimension now it's uh, needed center corner edge to center distance 600 divided by ok ok done everything is saved we need to assemble it everything then assembly started make sure one part is fixed and after one part fixing one part we call every parts ok so this part is fixed plain white plain after we call every parts connecting strips uh, sheets flats, supporting flats, every okay. after inserting that I place here and here because top uh, strips is connecting top so that's why I put in top and small um, connecting strip is connected to the bottom so that's why I put in the bottom this uh, yellow color uh, strips is uh, we are made already in body parts so that's why we don't need to meet it again make it again now we will apply the meat from everywhere this face select this face and this face constrain meat ok after identify I'll apply width mid. It's uh, mid. Select the width. Go into advanced. Select the width. Select one edge. Basically, this is now selected. Select this edge and this edge. And now we select the this both in edges. Now it's in center. 
now we need to meet this part face to face this face and strip this face okay connect together now I am copy with mate uh, command is applying basically we need uh, two mates commonly here one is top and one is uh, face and one is not needed because it's a wrong side so that's why we skip that after um, applying that we need to make sure meet this face also. now one um, made this face connecting with this face okay now ending edges and faces something is wrong basically we need to make delete one mate basically we edit also but uh, in editing um, we need so much time so that's why i deleted and made it again it's easy and comfortable it. now it's fixed after that i'll apply hide this and this because uh, after uh, mating every flats we need both plates so that's same processor process made this to top and corners and edges apply the same center mate center key because of center I use width mate always ok that's perfect I'll check the length of this basically length of this is 620 and it's also 600 and that's why we meet as a edges not a front and back side this end this face and so we do 2023 now uh, this option option is appearing uh, if you are using uh, like before uh, like 23 version yeah, below version so that's time like uh, mates option is not showing like quickly you need to go in the mates feature and always like putting every time it's take times I use copy with mates same uh, process and we previously use uh, we need only two uh, mates and one is escape so after applying that like we mate also over here Okay, done everything is perfect now make this do this mating is a taking time process i think so that's why our video is so much lengthy but this machine is really um, have a good manufacturing experience if you are a designer you understand everything so now we will appear on both parts and need to mate together we'll save first save as a hopper SSM here is a one sheet will meet with edges and corners not faces with corners now if uh, like we want in center now so that's why we using width mat 
we go with mat to select that plane and this plane and for other component we choosing in this corner edge okay, done. it's in center right now now need to make this edge with this face okay now to make um, fix it not moving off side and below side <coughs> this is a uh, some error is finding and basically uh, 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 we are making uh, single single parts now so that's why we uh, found some error because sheets is sometimes lengthy and some time it shortage but we when, when we are uh, like welding now so that time like uh, we after welding we use grinding and that type of things so that um, that time every error is corrected no problem after mating we'll see basically uh, i think uh, one more one part is missing but uh, not a missing we use only mirror command for uh, that side of our sheet that error is occur so when we are welding so it's definitely uh, capture everything need to mirror apply mirror is here select a plane we choose a assembly in this plane right plane and select a part after that it's mirror quite good so now we need 